Um, so, Messi, he's here. We last time we spoke, he was not here. It was it was rumors. Now he's here. He's shopping in Publix. I'm a Kroger person myself, so I wasn't really a fan. How do you There's feel about the initial, yeah? How do you feel about his initial <laughs> reactions of him being here? Um, uh, I just want to say that I was wrong. <laughs> How so? I said, How so? I said he I said he wasn't coming here. I said oh, okay. they just they should just forget about it and you know. I'll, I'll admit when I'm wrong. That's fine. Uh, but the initial reaction is, is pretty cool. I think uh, I've seen like, clips of him in Publix, obviously, and I don't think people really realized it was him at first. Which uh, I'm also surprised because, I mean, I get it. Yeah. This country doesn't care about soccer like that. But right. Lionel Messi is Lionel Messi. That's true. Like, That's true. a lot of people. And you're in Miami. You're in a heavy Latin American community. Exactly. I, just, I did not expect him to just be walking around in Miami like no, that. No, facts. I'm sure yeah. he had security with him somewhere. Jason. Somewhere, somewhere. I didn't think yeah. they would be able to, like, not be able to, like, be on him, like, on his tail as he's walking. Right. That's right. crazy to me. But, right. hey, yeah. he's gonna he's enjoying it, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, more power to him, man. I mean, you saw he had a basket full of cereal, which, when you have three boys, you know, kind of... <laughs> That's they're, what it's gonna be. But they're so small. <laughs> they they are know, small. They are. I don't have kids. Maybe all kids eat a lot of food or whatever. But I, yeah. I was like, Jesus, all that food. But I was yeah. like, maybe he just don't want to come back to Publix. <laughs> it's true. He might not want to come back. Yeah, yeah. But like, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna get everything, everything in one trip. Everything in one trip. Let's get out of here. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to be here anymore. <laughs> That's how yeah. I shop. I always buy a bulk. It's just me here, and I no, buy thanks. like the king size honey buns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, it's like I mean. You get a you get a culture shock. I know European grocery stores are not like this. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean. So they probably were just walking around sightseeing for a little bit, and then like, all right, let's get the stuff we need and let's get out of here. True. True. When he when he realized he was getting uh, recognized, he grabbed the keys and was like, "Now nah, I'm out." Yeah, I think it's. Uh, <laughs> I think as the season goes on, he won't be able to do stuff like that anymore. No. Because right now, it's like we know Messi's here. I'm sure there's a collection of people who want to go see a messy game don't really know who he is but once he starts yeah. playing in the mls i feel like that then that's when you'll see the turn and where there would be a little bit more star power behind him sure. yeah for but sure. uh yeah no it's interesting to see i mean i don't think we're going to be able to get tickets to see him this season <laughs> i'm nah. pretty sure every game he's a part of is sold out at this point but i mean next season for sure i definitely want to catch him in dc or maybe even Definitely. Maybe even Charlotte. Charlotte, yeah, or Atlanta. That's yeah. another good place yeah, to wait and watch him play. But how do you think he's going to fare, like, coming out there at the beginning? Because I want to get into Rain, Wayne Rooney's comments about him. But how do you think, before I even read off, um, what he's – Or actually, think, actually, let me just read it off. Okay, all right. Because like, that will probably be an easier way. So, yeah. Wayne Rooney, the Manchester United's one – of, one of the greatest Manchester United soccer players of all time. Everybody knows that. Um, yeah. Coach of D.C. United – has opinions based on what he thinks is gonna is he thinks is gonna be a culture shock on the field for Wayne Rooney. I'm gonna read some of his comments, but to basically just summarize it, he just doesn't think he'll quote unquote find it easy. So he's saying, and this is just his quotes from the uh, Times London. I never heard of that location, but whatever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so here's what Wayne Rooney had to say: Everything is set up for him. Rooney said he's got all his mates over Sergio Busquets and Jordi Alba. Wins from Miami. Joining him with Luis Suarez. Messi has a coach in Inter Miami, Tata Martino. He likes and trusts, especially with what's going on in Saudi Arabia for the MLS to attract Messi. That makes no sense, whatever. But he says, his, other, his next quote is, he won't find it easy here. It sounds mad, but players who come here find it a tough league. The traveling is different. The conditions are different. The cities, a lot of energy and intensity on the pitch. Now... I'm a, I, I, maybe the traveling, because I guess if you're looking at travel in Europe, they can just go everybody everywhere by train, I, I guess, and it's a quicker ride. So traveling is going to be an issue. But they don't play that many games in succession like they do no. over in European soccer. So I don't understand why that might be a problem for Messi. I will agree with Rooney on one point. Every time Messi goes out on the field, every guy that's playing against him is going to give him their best game. For sure. So maybe that might be different, but I feel like Messi's already has that every time he plays, even when he's playing in Europe. Everybody's gonna give you your best game. You're Lionel Messi, so he's That's seen this saying. type of stuff. So it's not yep. like it's not the same as Bastian Schweinsteiger coming over here and playing. Because right. okay, a 19 year old kid who grew up in wherever North Carolina that's in the MLS is gonna see Bastian Schweinsteiger and say, "I'm gonna give him hell." 
Right. I feel like the same, like, he might not expect that type of intensity coming to the MLS, but Messi, he's seen it all. He's done it all. I do think it still will be a cape walk. What do you think? Uh, I think the hardest part will be getting the team together. Like, I, I getting the team uh, level of play up to where he can be able to help them win a couple games because they're Inter Miami is not they're not a good team. Oh yeah, they're not, not at all. Yeah, they're, they're not, not a good team at all. So but, I think the biggest challenge would be getting the team up to his level uh, uh, to be able to even, at least be in games. I think that's going to be his biggest challenge. Well, I'm going to give you some pushback on that because I feel like they're putting in a system that Messi's accustomed to. And I don't think anybody within the inner Miami squad is going to second guess Sergio Busquets, Lionel Messi, Luis Suarez, if he is or isn't coming, um, Tata Martino. They're not gonna. They're not gonna second guess anything they want them to do. I don't think DeAndre Yedlin's gonna pull rank. <laughs> uh, I was about to say, but you still got DeAndre Yedlin playing behind you. Like, uh, and no disrespect to DeAndre Yedlin. I mean, he played in the Premier League. You know, he was once you know a decent player. Um, coming back, and he's doing his thing now. But it, it's it's not it's it, it's not the same. It's not. I mean, they're 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 winless for a reason. Like they're and putting a bunch of like thirty four or thirty five year olds in the squad. Is not. I mean, it helps, but how much really is but that team going to be? But there's there are 35, 34 year olds with play playing experience that 19, 20 year olds here in the MLS have never have never seen in their lives. So they've seen That's it true. all. So I feel like That's that true. does kind of. It's not just a bunch of old men. It's a bunch of old men who've played somewhere. Yeah. Who've played. They've seen it all. They've seen it all yeah. in Spain. There. I mean, <laughs> that league is different. That league is different. It's different, but in a in a more challenging way. So, I mean, as much as I love the MLS, I'm never going to say it's anything near what Spain is. Right. The bottom of the El Che could beat any team in the MLS. You think that you think they ever gave Messi any problems? <coughs> no. So, yeah, not I don't really. know. Yeah. It's one of those things where I understand where Wayne Rooney's coming from because when Wayne Rooney came over, I'm sure a lot of people were playing a lot more intense on him than they were at the latter in the August of his That's career true. over in Europe when he was playing with other teams and he was on the he was on his decline in Manchester United. It's not the same player. It's a, essentially what That's I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Um I'm trying to find the inner Miami predicted lineup once all those players are, I saw it earlier and I I can't find it now. Um but it ain't look great. <laughs> I mean, <So. laughs> But, again, but I mean, it's time will tell. Injecting the greatest soccer player to ever play the sport into your team will do a lot for you. There we go. Um, uh, Joseph Martinez, which mm-hmm. is an incredible striker, came from Atlanta United uh, last mm-hmm. year. Uh, yeah. Turned it up. He he's actually the, their best player right now. Um, whoever K Miller is that's playing center back. Uh, Calendar, the goalie, DeAndre Yellen, uh, Kromeshki, Kromesh. Kramash, something like that. I don't know. He's <laughs> there. He's their number ten. Um, so I mean, I don't. I don't really know how good these players are, but they don't have. They've won a lot of games. So, but I, going back to I guess um, uh, his comments, uh, Wayne Rooney's comments though. But the travel, I can see that. But they only play one game a week. Yeah. So and then the. CONCACAF Champions League, whenever that begins and ends, it's it's, it's just yeah. not the same. It's not the same as playing in Europe. I get it, the travel yeah. is gruesome, whatever, but it's yeah. just, the level of play is just so far below what Messi's seen, even in France. I I find it hard to believe there's going to be an adjustment period for him, or a long I, I, period. I think I one game, I think one game is an adjustment period for him, and that's it. Yeah. I think, I think, yeah, one, big, I think I, the bigger I think problem is the, I think the bigger problem is the playing services that they'll be playing on. I think that's what he will be True. used to. True. Not, not necessarily travel. It's just playing on True. AstroTurf. Some people, yeah. some players don't like it. I mean, we kind of grew up playing on it, so it doesn't matter to us. Yeah. But to him, it might make, it might make the world of a difference. But I still mm-hmm. think he overcomes that within one or two games. Yeah, well, yeah. Once you get used to a playing surface, like once you know how the ball rolls and it bounces, you're yeah. you're good. Yeah, you're golden. Yeah. But um, yeah. So we'll see how that we'll see how that turns out for him. But while we're 